Sizing is a very individual experience and here at Bicycles by Design we take it quite seriously that everyone is an individual. So what you're about to see is an example of what we do for your sizing to fit your bike and we take that part of bike buying as the number one choice. Here we have our jig, we use a Calfee sizer and a simple device that will measure the inseam to allow us to set the jig up for your sizing. Once we've set the jig up to approximately where we want to start with you, we're going to just check out the leg length in its full extension. What we mean by that is the heel is placed on a flat pedal, pushing the knee back to make sure it goes straight will indicate whether or not the hip is sitting level on the saddle. And by what you can see on this particular showing, you can see that the hip is slightly rocking to the right and to the left. The aim, of course, once we've got you sized and we have no rocking on the hips, we can start as a basis of where we need to actually have your height of your saddle. The next stage of what we're looking for is we're going to use the crank levelling system, which has a spirit level to allow us to put the cranks absolutely level with the ground making sure that you're seated central on the saddle. We're going to place a plumb line in a vertical position that will go over the center axis of your pedal. And what we're looking for is a simple line that will go through the first quarter, the first 25% of your knee joint. This positioning allows the person that's seated on our sizer being sat in the middle of the saddle so that when they actually do ride their bicycle and they come to climb they'll find themselves naturally sliding a little bit further back on the saddle creating better leverage and then obviously if they fancy accelerating they'll come forward over the pedal axis. To improve the position of the line over the axis of the pedal we're adjusting the seat angle. The seat angle alignment will allow us to take a decision on how the frame can be set up either from a boxed position meaning a frame coming from a manufacturer with a set geometry or ones that we're actually building. Once that's been done, we ask you to pedal away. We're looking for a simple activation of your ankle as it comes to the top of the pedal stroke at 12 o'clock where it drops very, very smoothly. And that indicates that the seat angle is in fact in the most ideal position to be efficient on your pedaling. We now move to the position of handlebars. And here we have in this video showing you a drop bar or a multi-position handlebar. We use flat bars as well as upturn bars for all of our sizing. And again, what we're doing here is we're placing the person sat on the jig in the middle of the handlebar reach so that we're working on the mid reach so that they can stretch out and come back and also use the drop part of the bar. What we're doing is we're asking the rider what they feel is a preferred handlebar height just in a stationary position so they can feel initially whether or not it feels high or low and we adjust accordingly. Once this is done we'll move on to the next stage which is where we will be able to physically wind out the frame whilst they're pedaling to simulate and they will feel their body weight change onto the handlebars whilst we're doing this. Of course we're going to wind you out a little bit further than you'd normally want to ride a bicycle but then we're going to wind you back and as we wind you back you're going to pass what in effect we would call the sweet spot which means that you feel very comfortable at that point you feel a bit balanced between the saddle and the handlebars where of course we're going to tighten you up so it feels a bit cramped so we can enforce that and then we'll come back to wind it out and as we come to wind it out we'll ask you just to give us a nod to let us know when we've hit that sweet spot but we will in fact continue to keep winding it out. The reason for this is we're doing it for a number of turns of which we'll stop, then we'll return to the point after doing those turns to the point that you say that it's sweet again. And in effect, when we've done this over practice, we found that this is within one or two millimeters of the previous setting. So it's a really accurate way of finding out about the reach and the height of the handlebars. Bicycles by Design always understands that everyone is different and that the fit is the most important element of your bike purchase.